Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Firestar After Burn. <laughs> The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Appreciate y'all. Bless. <laughs> to my left, we got, I forgot his full name, Draken. <laughs> yeah, that. okay. Draken. Yeah, yeah. And to my right, not my son, Kid Neon. <laughs> Gone, we are underway here. Another episode of Afterburn, our opening contest of Draken versus Kid Neon. Well, certainly will be a fast paced matchup. Interested to see how this one turns out. We got a collar and elbow tie up. I'm, I'm being joined now by LeBron Cozone. Hello there. I was saying this, this should be one of those faster paced matchups. Oh, yes, Kid Neon. Look at those kicks, they're glowing. They're glowing. He tied himself up in the ropes to stop the momentum. And now he's got control of Draken. Brand new kids. This man's got a, a couple of pinfall victories, able to afford him some new shoes. I'll tell you what, wins are good no matter where you get them. Yes, sir. As Draken has Kid Neon locked up in the ropes. Will we get a clean break? No, oh, we will not. That was not clean at all. That was the opposite of clean. Get him. Oh, yeah. Missed the punch. Now Neon has the side headlock. Big headlock. Trying to keep oh, control no. of Draken, who shoots him off into the ropes. Ooh, Back and forth ooh. and a big shoulder tackle. Look, you see how he just landed on that left shoulder as well. Oh, oh well, there you go. He just tripped up Draken. Real nice. Look at that solid wrestling. Back to the headlock. So smart. Right back to the headlock. I no, am what so works. impressed, man. See this <laughs> kid growing. Draken doing about the only thing he can do outside of getting out of this. Dude. Trying to get a pinfall. But Draken rolled out of it. And now he has the hair of Kid Neon. Definitely taking advantage Three, of the crazy four, hair that Kidney is, you know, the sporting here tonight. Well, it may end up hurting him. Just like that chop just hurt Draken. His hands even trembling, looks like. Oh, yeah. Kidney on feeling himself. What's this? Oh, baseball under. slide. Oh. No, oh, Missy and Zagiri. Wait a minute. German? Ooh. No, he just folded him up. Only a two count. Cozy, I mean, he flattened him with that one. Big German is going for it again. I'm on surprise, Kidney is still I, in it. Oh, he may not be anymore. That, that, okay, that's it. Yes. That's the end of the night for Kidney on two and what? You see the look in his eyes? I think he is. He may have been on muscle memory as he fell into that, but that, that knee struck right in the face. Yes. That's the afterburn faithful trying to cheer on Kidney on. And now he's just clawing at the face. Come on. Uh, Coach, I don't think that's something you teach. What, pulling by the nose? Yeah. Well, grabbing the face like oh, that. Oh, the face? Nah, man, these guys, they just, you know, watch watch AEW or whatever, and they just do what they see. They do what they see. That's yeah, a good point. Uh, Draken saying he's trying to make him look good in front of his mom, who is in attendance tonight. Ah, uh, yes, Kid Neon's mom is over by ringside. Oh, but Neon's fighting back, but Draken. Slows him right down with the right hand. Speaking of parental control. Oh, my God. oh wow, you heard that. It's been a question of who is the father of Kid Neon. Well, Hopefully we'll find out soon. I mean, the documents were presented to the potential uh, father, I guess you would say. Yeah. On a previous episode of Afterburn, but yeah. we don't know if that's been verified. No, I don't think so. Azrael Kayyem certainly thinks it's not his. Oh, but that boot is all Drakens. Some people say it, it might be a SoFly Benny Lowe's son. I would say a couple names have been thrown out so far. Yeah. Got to wonder if that list is going to get any longer. As but, Neon trying to get that, that rush of adrenaline. Oh, oh big drag. Well, he is light all oh, right in the face. Yeah. Those beautiful kicks from Kid oh. Me. Maybe it's easier to see what he's kicking. Oh, he's got lights on him. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Kid Neon is fired up. Could this be it? Two. No. Only 
Kelly too. I think if, try, if Neon had not taken that second to sort of acknowledge that energy burst that he had, he might have actually gotten a three on that. Yeah, without a doubt. Maybe too much wasted motion. What's he going for here? Oh! Dragon saw it coming. You have to wonder if Kidney's impressing himself. Oh! No! Oh, he rolled him through! Oh, no! Big. It wasn't as clean as he wanted it, but it was almost a pin that, that made him a winner here. All right, big sunset flip. Neon plotting his next move, trying to figure out what he's going to do next. Drakken worse for wear. Off the bottom rope. Wait a minute, Drakken caught him. What? Wait a minute. Oh, oh no, he flipped through. Oh, no. No, oh, kick right in the gut. Oh, no. He's going for the oh. No, he drops him. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, I thought that was it. This kid Neon is showing us something tonight, Cozy. What is Draken doing now? He's outside of the ring. Okay, now this, this was not part of the game plan. This is a regularly sanctioned match. These weapons will not be allowed. He's got a kendo stick. Uh, Goodwill's letting him know. Referee Goodwill, it's gonna stop him. There you go, Goodwill. Get in there. Take it out of his hands. Yeah. I see, okay, Draken gets rid of it. Goodwill's gonna take it out of. Wait, Wait a minute, there's a he's second one. A second there's one. a second! Wait a minute, Sweet Chili Ray! Sweet he just took that second kendo stick. Oh, oh no. and a slap to the face. Oh, whoa! A push, a roll up! Whoa. That's it! That's it! And your winner, Kid Neon. Still not my type. Stop asking me about it. What a match! Unbelievable turn of events at the end of this. Your following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Grassy, back up. To my left, we got Fit Majors. That's right, boot that man. And to your right, we have DJ Sprint. Bell is gone. We are underway for another exciting action here at Firestar Afterburn. DJ Springs going one-on-one -on -one with Fit Majors, and Fit Majors is making his Afterburn debut tonight. God, yes, kind of, sort of his Afterburn Live debut in front of our fans. That's fair. But he has been in our our underground. Uh, underground Afterburn. Yeah, underground Afterburn. There you go. Yeah, just came out with that. Well, <laughs> Fit Majors is going to have the, the height and looks like the, the strength advantage here, but DJ Springs is one of those fast-moving competitors. Yeah. If I was DJ Springs, I think it's your best bet to keep your keep Fit Majors' hands as far away from you as you can. Very true, because Fit Majors, you could just tell, he is in tip-top phenomenal shape. Being overtaken there for a second. All right, we're back with you. Fit Majors has got, oh, DJ Springs is in control right ah. now. And the shoulders down, referee Mike Goga checking. Look at this, DJ looked like he's transitioning. Go for another pin up. attempt. Two. Oh. Boy, I thought that was it. DJ oh. Springs is shut, right? I say that right hand will stop you every time. Oh, Goga needs to step in, that closed hand for Fit Majors, and now he's choking. Very popular choice by a lot of wrestlers is choking on the ropes. And I don't like that, KP. No, I agree 10,000%. It doesn't seem as effective. I mean, I've never seen anybody win a match with that, but right. you, know, you never I, know. I think some of these so-called wrestlers need to show up to some wrestling training uh -oh. at the Firestar Pro Wrestling Academy, but we'll teach you a little bit more how to choke people on the ropes, sir. This, this, is, this message brought to you by Firestar Pro Wrestling and LeBron Cozo. Indeed. As DJ Springs, as we get back to the match here, finds his way. And see, yeah, Fit Majors is going to use those long limbs to try and choke. 
That's a variation of a choke. Yeah, it is. Gogo, remind him you got to get out of that corner. That's not a legal space to be in. DJ Springs finds himself in the dead center of the ring. Oh. Suplex. Look at him. I'm going to say Finn might want to worry about a pin here. One day that overconfidence is going to bite him in the ass. It might be tonight if it keeps up. DJ Springs. Oh, now being yanked down by his hair. And now just closed fist raining on, down ref. on DJ Springs. Springs has got to protect himself here. Yeah, Fitz got to open that hand up too. Those closed punches are illegal in professional wrestling rules base, even here on Afterburn. So you want to only open handed strikes. As DJ now going to get possibly German? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what it was. Oh, man. And a kip up by Fit. Look how he's just proud of himself. He's doing a lot of uh, showboating here. I don't know if he's as concerned with DJ Springs as he should be. I mean, if he's as good as he thinks he is, maybe he could just put DJ away. That's fair. Going to send DJ out of one corner into another. What's he got in mind here? DJ hits that buckle hard. Goes on, what do you do when you find yourself in there with a competitor that's taller and has more power than you? You do things like that. Move the hell out of the way. Just get Find out of the way. separation and hit him harder. There you go, back elbow. Fitz is knocked out, but right back oh. up. Flying forearm oh, from wait. DJ Springs. Wait. wait a minute. Duck the line from Fitz. Second one, duck. Hurricane Rana. Yeah, beautiful Hurricane Rana from DJ Springs. Graduate here. No, oh, only a two count. At the See, Firestar Pro Wrestling Academy. At this point in the match, DJ, you can't you cannot sit there and be befuddled. You gotta keep moving. What's he gonna go for? Fit to set up in the corner. Here comes Springs. Oh! Up and oh. over. He lands on the apron. Don't think that was the smartest thing that Fit could do. I don't think Fit saw him. He sees him now. Block the punch. Rock the jaw. Fit Majors. That's DJ Springs. What's he? DJ Springs. Looking to spring. Light the fly. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, that's got to be him. it. Cover him. The spring board. No. No. Not enough body weight to keep Fit Majors down. Very close call. Oh. Fit all right to the eyes. Scoops him up. Oh, no. no. Just drills him right oh, down. Oh, no. At Here it is, the unfit leg drop. No! Oh, that's a good way to break a tailbone. DJ's got to mount some offense here. This could be the opening. He did. Oh, my God. He caught that. Spinning back kick. Wow. Oh, and another one. Yeah, rock the jaw. Double tap. Two. That's it. What a bad. DJ. Hooray. Yes, sir, that's my grandson. Picking up his first victory here in singles competition, DJ Springs. Absolutely, just one more example of the fine action you'll see here at Firestar Afterburn. Fantastic outing by DJ Springs. The following match is scheduled for one fall. Thank you, I had to really get him to stop talking because brother stutters like a mother. All right, and to my left, the Ninja Turtle without his mask. <laughs> Nobody's favorite superhero. <laughs> the dirtiest mask in the game. <laughs> Stoodle Shot! Uh. Elliot Shot! <laughs> We got the notes wrong, I think. Azriel might have a permanent job as a ring announcer. I'll tell you what. And to my right, the greatness. You got the Lord. He is God. Mm, come on. Right hand. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. Can you feel it, Cozy? Oh, yes. I can feel it. I can see it. That brand new, custom made it. Uh, what do you call that? It has a collar. It's, it's religious garb, I guess. Yes, yes. 
With God's right hand, sporting some new, uh, some new gear. Elliot Shock still has that mask. Why does he carry that mask around? I, I couldn't tell you. He hates that mask. Ezra's right about the smell coming off that mask, oh. I will be honest. Really, I can't smell, so. Oh, yeah, oh, that's fair. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. He might be feeling it. St. Julius might be feeling it, too. Bell's gone. We are underway. Another one-on-one -on -one contest here on Firestar Afterburn. St. Julius going one-on-one -on -one with Elliot Shock. Yes. Big and who do you give the elbow. advantage to me on this one, Cozy? Well, that's a good question. Elliot Shock has the experience advantage over St. Julius. But St. Julius has definitely Ooh. been getting his reps in here on Afterburn. It's been quite a minute since we've seen uh, Elliot Shock. But don't take anything away from Elliot. The majority of those matches that St. Julius has had, he's won. So he's got a couple wins in that column. He wants to stack up a few more. Ooh. Big hand spring. Yes, yes right sir. His feet. Very agile is St. Julius. But there's only one thing I forgot to mention, and that is the headspace of St. Julius. That's because true. we all know that he's been having the struggles here with Zion Hart, the Prince of Negativity. Who, I mean, absolutely has, has rented space in the head of St. Julius. We've even seen at times it seems like he, he loses his concentration because yep. he feels like he's being talked to from some deity force. Right. As Jacques now fights back as St. Julius try, attempted a suplex. But I think the one thing that Elliot Shock has going for this one is just how oh. mad he oh. is. Oh, he just sends that. Yeah, just sends Julius out to the floor. Wait a minute, what's Shock oh, going for? Watch out, watch out. Oh, oh, double oh. kick. Sends Julius right to the front seat. What are you doing? The ring is right there. Oh, okay, Stop that chop. it. Wow. <laughs> Elliot may be another one of those heavy-handed individuals. Wait a minute. Got him up against the ring post. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ducked. That's what you get. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, oh Julius just ate that apron. You've heard it said a thousand times, the hardest part of the ring. Yes, very hard part of the ring. A shock, yeah, he can't win the match out on the floor. He's got to get St. Julius inside. And as you can see, the fans are up close. It's very personal here. You know, a lot of live action you don't see. You don't get this opportunity to be this close to pro wrestling. So. If you're in the area, come on down. Absolutely. The stars of tomorrow are made here today. Yes. As Elliot Shock is just kind of, oh. oh, wow, back of the head. Elbow, straight elbow. St. Julius is, he looks rocked. Up out of the corner. Julius stops it. Oh, oh caught Shock. Look at this. Roll up. A two count. Oh. Yeah, there's a return of that chop yeah. from earlier. Do it again. Shock just got lit up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. German? We saw earlier on someone get dumped on their head with a German. Yes. It's not hard to do. The most common move here tonight. No doubt. Between that and choking on the ropes, I think you're right. Oh. Oh, but he hasn't released. He sticks with it to shock. Going for it again. St. Julius is in a bad spot here. He needs to get out of the grip of Elliot Shock. Oh, look at this. Crawls underneath. Now he gets a turn. Oh! And look. the back ahead, and the back of the head of Elliot Shock has now been rocked. Both men are down. Yes. Referee starts his 10 count. Both men have to the count of 10 to, re to reach their feet, or this match will be considered a no contest. I am so impressed with St. Julius. He's staying focused in this match. Both men are moving anything. slow, though, Cozy. Right. Not letting anything distract them like the last match. Mm, another punch to the head. Forearm followed up by oh. Oh, just back and forth. It almost seems like these shots from Shock are waking up St. Julius. Uh -oh. Uh-oh, you heard it. He said he likes that. Oh, he's feeling it. Oh, oh the momentum off the rope's going to help you all day. Shot goes down. Oh. Insecure in the back of the head. Oh, yeah. Julius has got to follow up. What's he going for here? Oh. Big 
splash out the second. Only a one count. St. Julius, you can't let him rest. You got to get on him. Do you hear the Fire Star Faithful here tonight in Greensboro, North Carolina? Possible fisherman suplex. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, uh oh. Wait a minute. What? And we talked about this oh, earlier, no. Cozy. No, come on. Come on. You're doing so good. It's some sort of Snap interference. Snap out of it, buddy. Oh, God. Oh, the roll up by Shock. Wait a minute. Feet on the ropes. Hey, come on. Elliot Shock had his feet on the ropes outside of the view of the official. Elliot Shock. The story continues of St. Julia's internal battle. How is he going to defend himself from this continued interference anytime he competes? Elliot Shock can thank one person for this one, and that's Zion Hart. Ladies and gentlemen, this next match is scheduled for one fall. Your referee, handsome Mike Goga. To my left, representing Dropper Fella, Trey the Ruler, Maurice Mouse. Seems like there's a little bit of familiarity here. They are top. Shooters! And to my right, we got the Dixie Cup. We got Hunter Rainer. What is a Dixie Cup? And his Dixie Dixie Cup. Cup. It's an old school styrofoam cup. Oh. Well, plastic, really, but. Not for real, they all come in. It's the same and color scheme as Hunter Raiders colors. Half price, Christian Price. And Christian Price is on this count. Yes, sir. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? I'm going to tell you what, a lot of questions here posed at Afterburn. You know he's sweet. He ain't we got tag team action set to go here. Maurice Moss and Trader Ruler versus Hunter Rayner and Christian Price. Looks like Rayner and Moss are going to start us off here. Or maybe it's maybe it's Price. Oh, oh, wow! We're starting off. Oh, oh, big slap for Maurice. It is personal already. I tell you what, it's heated up quick. Wrong corner, Chris. Oh, I say that tag match. Yeah, Goga's gonna step in there. Yeah, we got a tag a fight, baby. That's what I like to see. Not, not that I guess it matters right now, but Trey is now the legal man. Maurice needs to get out of there as they do a double chop oh, oh, right across the throat. Moss, Moss, Moss. What a chop! Wow. What's this? Lifts him up. <laughs> Double team maneuver. Not quite. Trey is legal. No. Not quite an what they wanted, one. but yeah. yeah. Mm. Price is down. Still effective maneuver from the top shooters. Wait a minute, he fires back on Trey Derula. Still feeling the effect of that spine buster net breaker. Oh. Wait a minute. Ooh, oh, folding him right up. Speaking of net breaker. Yeah, no kidding. What impact. And you notice how Price has only been on one side of the ring for the majority of this time. Not good for him. Good tag team wrestling, but not good for Price. You're absolutely right. He's firing back. But it's a two-on-one situation, Coach. Oh, he's fighting. Hurt neck and all. Oh, my. Ooh. No, they didn't go do that neck any favors. just got planted in price by Maurice Moss. When are these guys going to learn? They're just ignoring the referee's instructions. I say the referee, yeah. Mike Oga ain't going to take too much there. He's going to gorilla press one of them out the ring. Oh. And right, Hunter Rainer for the breaking up. Hunter Rainer breaks it up. 
As Price, he, I, Price is so worse for wear right now, he doesn't realize how close he is to his actual corner. Oh, you heard that. Oh, that was heavy handed. Cozy, I, honestly, I've heard wrestlers say at times they've been chopped so hard that they lost their breath. Mm, yes. Could possibly happen with the Price just now. A lot of double team maneuvers, but Price oh. is fighting back. Oh, oh. Maurice just accidentally oh. hit the ruler. Oh, could he get the tag? Oh. So close, oh. but no. Oh. no. Didn't catch the first one, but did catch the second one. Could he get the tag? Maurice comes in. Price. No, oh. he's both of them. Now he needs to tag. Yes. Now he needs to tag. But does he have enough, Cozy? We will soon find out. He's almost there. He gets it. Hunter Raiders on his way in. Mm. Yeah, boy, you talk about a train coming down the tracks. Yes, big meaty man. Just mowing down the top shooters. Maurice missed it. Swinging neck breaker. Beautifully done by Hunter Rayner. Beautiful neck breaker. Sends Maurice to the corner. Going to set him up. Oh, and a big Euro right there in the corner. Oh, oh you saw that. I didn't see it coming, but wow. That toe may have caught Maurice in the eye. Oh, another one. No, oh, he just, and he, and he held on. He's hanging on. This is my favorite move. What's he going for? Ball game? No. Oh. Wait a minute. Ball game. Oh, he took his hand off. Wow. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's no. right. Oh. And that is right. Oh, I didn't even think about that with the melee that was going on. Somebody find Hunter's head. Maurice Moss was the one that was legal, not Trey. So the referee could not legally execute the pin. Good call by Mike Goga as Price is back in. Had a little bit of time to rest, but not too long. Good call by Hunter Raynor tagging in his partner after getting his head kicked off oh. just like that. I'm about to say, I mean, there may not be too many heads left after this one. Oh, man. Kick to the bread basket. Price going to get set up. Possibly a suplex. Oh, no. Turns it into a stunner. Oh, he's got the perfect price for Maurice Moss. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Maurice got out of it. Oh, since Price on the ropes. Precarious position. Wait a minute. Referee to turn. Oh, you saw that. That was the, dirty. The referee cannot call what he doesn't see. Excellent ring psychology by the top shooters who just drilled Price. Hunter. Oh, oh can't make it in time. And your winners, trade the ruler and the egregious Maurice Moss. Top shooters. Unbelievable turn of events. What do we got here? Wait a minute. A little shoving going on after the fact. Top shooters have won this tag team match. Excellent psychology. Divide and conquer, and it worked to a T. Don't like their attitudes, but that was smart tag team wrestling.